How does it feel to work at Tesla? Is Elon Musk, the Twitter meme king, really that chill in real life? Or is it all just a facade? Tesla employees have recently started being really vocal about the working conditions at Tesla and SpaceX, from calling Elon Musk a genius that made them better workers, to claims of discrimination, homophobia, and outright sexism. Tesla truly has it all. Stay tuned, because we're going to spill the tea straight from the mouths of former Tesla employees. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell, because trust me, you don't want to miss our upcoming content. Now, let's get this show on the road. Let's start with the obvious. Elon Musk is undeniably smart. After all, you don't end up being the richest person on the planet without some truly revolutionary ideas. Elon Musk is known by his employees to be intense. When he took over Tesla in 2008, he sent the company into crisis mode to jumpstart his vision of how to reinvent the auto industry. Now, he appears to be using a similar management playbook to remake Twitter. Former Tesla and SpaceX employees have first-hand experience of how Musk became known for his cutthroat and tireless management style and what that could mean for his future employees. Carl Medlock joined Tesla in 2009 for this same reason. Medlock admits to being so excited about the brand that he ended up working super long hours with little time for family. Medlock now runs his own electric vehicle repair shop in Seattle after he was terminated from Tesla in 2013 over a misunderstanding with his direct manager. Garrett Reisman was similarly inspired by the mission of SpaceX and joined in 2011. Reisman admits to the atmosphere being quite intense, yet not due to Musk driving them hard. Rather, he attributed it to the goal of the entire SpaceX team, which is setting up a colony on Mars and allowing human life to spread to the planet. Reisman left SpaceX in 2018 to teach astronautical engineering at the University of Southern California. He said that after seven years at SpaceX, he wanted to work somewhere less intense. Musk has motivated and energized his employees with his hardcore mindset as they faced difficult tasks. In 2012, when Tesla was preparing to ramp up production of the Model S luxury sedan, Musk sent his team an email with the subject line, Ultra Hardcore, telling them to prepare for a level of intensity that most of them had never experienced before. About three weeks after taking over at Twitter, Musk sent a similar email, but hundreds of employees opted to leave the company rather than sign up for Musk's vision of Twitter 2.0. A former manager at Tesla marveled at his intelligence, claiming that he's already 10 steps ahead of everyone else, and you have to think 10 times more audacious than he does to be able to be successful. According to him, you have 30 seconds to make your point, Plus, if Musk likes your idea, get ready to see it in action because he's all about making things happen. Innovation is a big plus at a company like Tesla, and Musk encourages employees to contribute their ideas, putting them into action if they truly align with his vision. Those who have conversed with Elon describe him as an incredibly motivating figure, yet several comment that he could be tiring and unpredictable, and eventually they would find themselves unable to keep pace with him. Musk may be open to the ideas and thoughts of his staff, but there is an intimidating quality about him that puts workers on edge. He is renowned for his efficient methods, reducing Tesla's workforce by 20% when he became CEO, and, according to an article in the journal, almost halving the Twitter staff a week later. People familiar with the situation have reported that over 1,000 resigned in the process. Former employees have commented that the rigorous approach gives the feeling that those who work for Musk are of the highest caliber. Two former senior-level employees claimed that workers were frightened to contradict Musk due to the pressure he put on his executive and senior leadership staff, even though they had the experience to do so. This probably has something to do with the fact that Elon says he fires people that repeatedly fail to come up with innovation. And since Elon tries to be as innovative as possible, disagreeing repeatedly with him is a straight ticket to getting fired. A Tesla manager who had spoken to Elon Musk on the phone on multiple occasions reported that he was unsure if Musk knew his name, which he felt was actually a good thing. 
According to another former Tesla manager, Musk would often set goals that were unattainable without a practical means of achieving them. It has been noted that if an employee is unable to resolve an issue quickly, they will be terminated, which is why it is better to remain silent. Employees at Tesla and SpaceX have also made claims of inappropriate behavior. This year, Tesla was heavily criticized on social media after losing a lawsuit where they were accused of racism and ordered to pay $137 million. Tesla had long proclaimed itself to be a progressive and equitable company, but this incident inflicted a serious blow to its reputation. Elon Musk also faced criticism after sending an email to employees suggesting that it is important to be thick-skinned and accept an apology from someone who was mean to you, regardless of the circumstances. This raised a lot of eyebrows because historically, minority workers have faced discrimination, and being told to suck it up and have thick skin is completely unacceptable. Tesla completely refuted all accusations, and a spokesperson from the company proclaimed that they are completely opposed to any type of discrimination, harassment, or unfair treatment. However, Elon Musk appears to have a different mindset as he was found using prejudicial language this spring. Two of his emails to company staff and one to investors had the phrase barnacles, which he used to refer to low-paid contracted workers. He mentioned on an investor call that they had become overly reliant on third-party contractors, and so they needed to do some serious cleaning up. The subcontractors reported that this only increased the issues of discrimination against employees that already existed, which was validated by the CEO. A U.S. Army veteran who is employed at Tesla said that when the factory's leader uses such demeaning language to refer to people, it makes it easier for other people in the factory to think and act that way. The veteran had been working at Tesla via a subcontractor and compared Elon's comments to the U.S. military's practice of denigrating enemy soldiers with offensive language. After the lawsuit, Tesla has made efforts to improve this behavior, but no one can predict what the future holds. We would be very appreciative if you could show your support by giving the video a like, and we would be delighted to read your opinion in the comments section below. Another side of Elon Musk that employees have revealed is his overly optimistic dependence on social media. Longtime Tesla employees have revealed that the only way to have Elon Musk focus on something is to have it highlighted on social media. This is both a good and bad thing, as it means that his customers are a priority, and he likes to stay connected with them. But at the same time, he focuses more on clout and public image rather than what his team tells him. A former employee reported that what ultimately triggers him to act and make a decision is what he reads on social media. When you're in a business meeting with him, he will pivot the direction of the organization literally overnight. So manufacturing could be a problem today, and as soon as it stops being reported on social media, as soon as it stops being reported in the news, then he'll move on to whatever the news is claiming the new problem is. This does point toward a lack of communication and trust within the team, and might also be the reason why Elon Musk keeps announcing overly optimistic goals, which then turn out to be unachievable. Employees of Tesla have revealed they feel embarrassed when Elon Musk deceives the public. A staffer who had been there since 2017 commented, I'm always astonished that he keeps providing numbers which we have been unable to verify. He'll say we will produce a certain vehicle by a certain date, yet we never manage to fulfill that. In my opinion, an accountable individual should follow through with what they say. As a Tesla employee, I am greatly humiliated when my CEO is not telling the truth to the public. Although there are numerous negative aspects to this, there are also plenty of positive attributes about Elon Musk, too. By a million, when it comes to creativity, Elon Musk stands out. It was no surprise when he created a company to take people to Mars. Mitchell Stevens, a former senior manufacturing engineer at Tesla from 2010 to 2012, noted that Musk thought way beyond the boundaries. According to Stevens, when he and his co-workers first encountered the Tesla CEO, Musk asked them what they saw when they looked at a can of soda. He said that if you magnified it by a million times, it could be a spaceship. Elon has very high standards when it comes to Tesla, and he's determined to provide his customers with the absolute best quality possible. 
Anytime he spots a flaw, he's going to have the entire thing redone, no matter the cost or reduction in efficiency. A Tesla manufacturing engineer commented that Musk's striving for perfection could sometimes be taken too far, resulting in higher costs and decreased productivity. The impressive quality of the products, however, is a testament to his commitment to creating the best results. Other staff have also noted how he has motivated them to strive for greater heights. A former senior employee remarked that he came to the realization that Musk was right 90% of the time, even when he disagreed with him. The employees further stated that they felt they had become 10 times smarter since joining Tesla. All in all, Tesla employees have mixed opinions of Elon Musk, so it's difficult to form a concrete view based on only a few comments. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.